click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about queuing modeling analysis which is a type of algorithm evaluation. How queuing can be done to implement and select a scheduling algorithm among many algorithms? And what are the advantages and disadvantages of this queuing analysis? There are some systems where programs may vary from day to day. Thus, the predefined set of workload for deterministic modeling is not available here. Thus, we can determine only the CPU and I.O. distributions that can be predefined in this way. Now, a modeling analysis known as a queuing modeling analysis, this distribution can be measured and approximated and simply gathered. Now this estimation is used to calculate the probable CPU burst of that particular processes that we are talking about. Now like this distribution also, we can determine the distribution of the time that a process is waiting for to arrive at the system. That is known as the arrival time. Now from these two distributions, we can calculate the CPU utilization, throughput, wedding time, response time, and so on criterion that is used to select scheduling algorithms based on some processes. The computer system is often considered as a network of servers, with each server as a queue of waiting processes ready to be executed. Like the CPU server is ready with its ready queue, and IO server with its device queue. Now every server that is waiting to the processes to be executed can done with this queuing network analysis. Knowing the arrival rates, service rates, we can calculate the average queue length, the average waiting time, the average CPU utilization and all. Now suppose consider that if there are n numbers of processes waiting in the queue, Accept the number of process that is actually servicing and W is the average waiting time for the processes and lambda be the average arrival rate for the processes say 3 processes per second. Then by the time W that the process is busy waiting lambda into W times of number processes can arrive at the system. If the system is in steady state, then the number of processes arriving in the system will be equal to the number of processes leaving the system. Now we can calculate the mathematical relation between them, that is n equals to lambda into w. This formula is known as Little's formula. And this is very important and particular of use because it is applicable to any scheduling algorithm and any arrival distributions. By this formula, we can actually calculate if the two variations are known to us, the third variations. Suppose there are seven processes that are arrived to a system per second and there are 40 processes that are waiting in the queue. So, the W equals to, we know that N by lambda, that is equals to 14 by 7, there is 2 millisecond of waiting time average per process in that system. Queuing algorithms that can be evaluated to actually comparing the scheduling algorithms very usefully. But it has also limitations. For that time, the scheduling classes and the distributions are fairly limited to be handled. As we know that these distributions are very often mathematically tracted but unrealistic waste calculation, so it has to be restricted in somewhere. And also the mathematics of complicated algorithms and distributions are fairly tough to work with. For these difficulties, queuing models are often an approximation of a system. Now the actual accurate result can be deferred and mean questionable state when you are using this queuing modeling of selecting algorithms. Suppose we have to take a number of independent inputs that are assumptions only which can be inaccurate too. 
So on made of these assumptions, the results are produced. So this can be accurate and inaccurate according to the assumptions. Like this way, queuing models are only often implemented in some systems of model and others are restricting of using this model, which can be done in simulation and implementation. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.